Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do want to pre-warn you, I do have a couple videos coming your way this last week, of course. Um, we have the December wrap-up as per usual. You usually don't get that till the beginning of the next month, so that'll be probably your first January uh, video. And then of course, my personal top 10 of the year. And I don't actually think I've showed you my Christmas holiday mantle. There it is right there. Um, I don't think I've done a video here. If I did, well, we're here again. If not, I did. I showed you my mantle during Halloween, so I thought, you know what, I gotta show it during Christmas. Y'all saw my tree when I did my um, board game video. Um, so now it's the mantle here. I went for a white Christmas theme this year. All right, let's get on with this review. Today we're here to talk about Netflix's Don't Look up which has a big a star cast now don't look up it's considered a drama comedy actually you know that's a lie i think it says just comedy disaster movie but this isn't your big like 2012 day after tomorrow now i personally do love the big grand scale of disaster movies i mean the action with it the drama with it i enjoy it now this one they did do something different and they decided to go for the comedy aspect um, this is more of a satire film I enjoy satire films one of my favorites that came out um, what was it two years ago now Jojo Rabbit one of my all-time favorite movies if you're not really into those type of movies and this is not gonna be for you this is considered a comedy but personally I didn't find it as funny i mean i did laugh a little bit in certain parts but to say this is a full-on comedy i didn't quite find it to that extent and i love 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 comedy movies and like i said i do enjoy satire films jonah hill does i guess deliver more of the comedic beats i'm pretty sure he did a lot of improv within the movie but honestly to the point that Jonah Hill is in his career, even though he did start off as a comedian. But you know, he has somewhat tradition more into the drama roles with some comedic beats to it. This to me kind of put me back to his old, um, old days, which I still enjoy, don't get me wrong, but I just know that he can do so much better. But again, I understand the character. Again, I understand the comedy, but I just wasn't really totally here for his role as being the chief of staff slash son of the president so of course we're gonna kind of get everything for the most part of a lot of the tropes from a lot of uh, other disaster movies including the not so there president uh political party the well we'll deal with it when we need to deal with it but we're gonna kind of just squish it aside it's not really beneficial to me right now until it is beneficial and then we're gonna act on it to having the scientist the hot scientist at that in one and in his potential p of uh, the student that's going with the phd who is not in a very prestige um university you know they're just from michigan state there is a whole poking fun at well you're from michigan state really but you know the people from michigan state are the ones that discovered this comment that's coming straight to earth of course we have the pop star who's played by ariana grande we have the sleazy newscaster the ones that are you know the it news factor with Kate Blanchett and Tyler Perry the multi-billionaire I don't know second or third richest person um here who is all about the cell phones who like the technology and the scientists or whatever like the businessman uh Mark Rylance he's very one note but you're here for the character kind of with Jonah Hill you know they're you just kind of know what you're getting with them uh but I also really enjoyed how you know they're going with that um, but yeah, I know that this film is not going to be for everybody. I had heard that it's very boring and it lags. I didn't find it to lag. I thought the story really just went. Um, it is over a little over two hours or maybe a little more than over two hours. I didn't quite see, honestly, how long it was. But it didn't feel like it was a two-hour movie. There are parts of the movie, though, that definitely didn't need to be there, like the whole love interest uh, between two particular characters uh, we also have timothy chalamet um here but it's very very real stuff that's happening you know the way that the media handles certain, certain situations the way that greed at the end also is plays a part because you know we're we're going to destroy it but then we end up finding something about this particular rock that can benefit us in the trillions of ways so then you know what maybe it doesn't benefit us to really destroy it destroy it but rather 
do some Armageddon shit and like drill into it, you know, and kind of hope for the best and see what happens. Cause you know, it's science. We have all these nice technology kind of deals. So we're going to be, you know, doing it. Performances all the way around. I really enjoyed them. Some of them are a little bit weaker than other others. Now this is like in the Oscar talks. So I don't see it really winning anything, but I do see a few nominations. They do use a lot of stock footage. I don't really like the way that it was used too much. I liked it more in, what's it called, Uncut Gems. I like the way it looked there and the way it was utilized there. The way it was used here, for me, it didn't fully work. Um, there is also like a mid credit scene, so just fast forward to it. It's that part was actually really funny. I quite enjoyed it. The last 30 minutes of it was, well, parts of it was very like heartwarming, very emotional. It doesn't have the typical disaster movie finale. So that was very, very interesting. Now there is this ongoing joke with Jennifer Lawrence's character about the general charging them for free snacks. Um, it worked. Um, let me go ahead and cut it there because like I said, I have a lot of videos coming to you this week. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like. 